Okay then my friends, so that is pretty much the project done now and there's quite a lot of animations that we've added to it but there's still a couple more things that I do want to show you using Frame of Motion. Now first of all I'm going to show you how to create a simple loader, just some kind of bouncing ball and typically you'd show these kinds of things when you're making a request for data while it loads. So let's start off by making a new component for the loader and we'll call that loader.js and then we need to first of all import a few things at the top or a couple of things rather first of all the react library and also motion from frame at motion now i'm going to create this component called loader and it's a functional component and inside we need to return some kind of template now all i'm going to return is a fragment first of all and then inside i'm going to do a motion dot div like so Okay, so this is going to have a class name of loader. So class name is equal to loader. So we can apply some basic CSS styles to it shortly. And we're also now going to create some variants for this so we can animate it. So let's say const loader variants is equal to an object. And inside, we're going to do several different animations down the road for this loader. So I'm going to create the first one and I'm going to call this animate one but you can call it what you want. In fact, animation one, we'll call it, makes more sense, okay? Just noticed a spelling mistake right here. It should be variants, not very nuts. So variants. And this animation one is gonna be the animate property for this div right here. So what do I want to do in here? Well, I want to animate the X coordinate and also the Y coordinate so that the ball bounces up and down and left to right like this. So I'm gonna say, X is going to be keyframes because it's going to go left to right and then back again and it's going to be minus 20 and it's going to go to 20. Now it's also going to go up and down so let me also do a Y coordinate set of keyframes and it's going to start at zero the first keyframe and then go to minus 30. Remember minus is in the up direction. So now we should have an up and down motion and a left and right. Now remember, we have to yo-yo these things right here, otherwise they're just gonna stop after the two keyframes, but we want them to repeat back and forth all of the time. So we can add now a transition property, like so. Now then, I want the duration of this animation to be different to the duration of this, so how can I do that? Well, when we're using variants like this, it's pretty easy to set different transitions for different properties. Inside the transition object right here, all you need to do is say whatever property you want to set a transition object for. So for instance, I could say X right here is gonna be an object, and inside here, these will be the transition properties for just this X. So I'm gonna say inside here, yo-yo is gonna be infinity. We've seen that in the past. That just means it repeats these keyframes over and over again, this animation. And also the duration of this one from left to right is going to be 0.5 seconds. Now I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it down below, but this one is going to be for Y. And we're also going to have yo-yo set to infinity, but this time it's going to be 0.25 to go up and down. Now I'm also going to do a different easing function on Y, but in fact, I'll show you how to do that shortly. I just want to preview this for now. So now we need to apply these variants to this thing over here. So let me say variants is equal to, and it was called loader variants. So loader variants. And then we want an animate property, and that is going to be animate one or animation one, we called it. So this property right here, okay? So that's the animate attribute value. Now we don't need an initial one because we're not really bothered about positioning it anywhere specifically on the page. That's just gonna happen normally when we put this into the home component. So it's just gonna sit where it is. And then relative to that, it's gonna go minus 20 along the X coordinate, then 20, and then zero to minus 30 on the Y coordinate, okay? So that's why I've not set an initial property right here. Anyway, we don't need any content inside the load, but what we do also need to do now is style this load a little bit so that it actually appears on the page because at the minute, it's not gonna have any kind of width or height because there's no content inside this div. So let's go to the index.css and let's just add these styles. I'm just gonna copy these from my repo 
and explain these. So remember, we have a class of loader, which is this thing right here. So we're styling that div. We give it a width and height of 10 pixels each, a margin of 40 pixels top and bottom, auto left and right. So it sits in the center of the page. Uh, the border radius is 50%, and that means that this is going to be a circle completely and then a background of white. So it should just be a little white ball. Now I'm gonna save that. And before we do anything, I'm actually going to comment these two things out so we can see it without the animation. We also need to export this loader component. So let's do that at the bottom, export default and it's loader like so. And we need to import this now into the component where we want to show it. Well, I'm gonna show it in the home component so I'm going to show it below the link. So let me say there that we want the loader. Press enter. It should automatically import that for me when I did that. Yes, it has done. Save it and let's preview on the home page. So we see this white dot there, that little ball. That is the loader, but without the animations. So let's now go to this thing and comment out or rather uncomment these things right here to say that we want to use these variants and this animation and we should see it go left to right and up and down so come over here and we can see that but notice how it kind of goes just in a v like this and it doesn't look very natural and that's why i'm going to add an easing function to the up and down motion so it's more like a ball bouncing so you can play around with the different easing functions it's entirely up to you which one you use i'm going to use the ease out easing function and that basically gives it a natural bouncy ball feeling so if we take a look now it should look a bit more natural and it does awesome so there we go my friends that's how easy it is to create a loader using framer motion